Uh, this is the Flatland Shelter, and that is what we're here to discuss today. Now, it is exactly what it sounds like. It is a big piece of Flatland. I have placed all these Brotherhood of Steel buildings here to show you just how big. The first ones are one story, that's two stories, and that over there is three to four. Now, overall, this place is actually just huge. But there's a lot of actual areas in Fallout from, you know, 1 to the Fallout TV series, any of them, that are just big, flat desert areas. So if you're a person who likes building out in flat areas, and with so few flat areas in this game, it's so nice to actually finally get one that actually just looks like a desert instead of a parking lot or something else. Now, I've placed these roughly two-story tall Nuka bottles in the corner so that you can actually get an idea of how big, and I am up here with my camera. You can see that is me down there on the ground, so you can see how far I am up. Now, switching down, this is the actual area you will be entering, and this is the control panel that you'll actually be accessing stuff through. Now, you have the actual vertibot here that takes off and lands. It's supposed, you know, that's what it's supposed to be, but you just walk up and click it like a door. It does sit here and hover. Now, I have had people ask this before. Since another base came with this. Yes, you can put this on structures. So you can have this on top of things. You can have it just sitting on the ground. It really is up to you. Now, I've used the Brother of Steel because this originally come with a Brotherhood of Steel pack. Now... The overall design is, like I said, it's pretty huge, it's pretty flat. But with three large structures, three, you know, small to medium and one medium size, you can see that I'm only using about 10% of my budget. I've also got four Nuka-Cola bottles, the platform here and that, you know. So, a respectable budget, you're not going to fill this entire place in. But you're going to be able to build a good sized town. Now, to really get an idea of how big it is, I'm going to jog over here. It's part of the reason why I wanted to use this. You can actually see up inside of it. Now, you can see how <laughs> that bottle. Now, if you're wondering, there is more out there, but there is an invisible force field that keeps you in. So. Pretty big, pretty huge. You could build, I mean, you could build a very large tent city in here. As long as you kind of play with the budget effectively. You know, if you try to go outside, you just kind of stop and don't move. But the overall concept is, you know, this is a big, huge area. Uh, the budget is at least respectable. Uh, I've got, you know, quite a few big expensive items you can see that they've got moving pieces which generally eat up more of the budget uh you could even have this into an area that leads to other shelters that you can actually have it like as a resupply point now one thing that is nice about this one vertebra uh, bot type entryway you don't really have a limitation so, as you can see, there is no zero of three. It means you can just kind of... You know, you can have an army of them as decorations. These are, you know, maybe you want to turn this place into an airport or like a resupply, you know, base that you've got your army of cargo drones going in and out of this area. Um, even with you know, one thing that's nice about uh, shelters is you're not quite limited to the same rules. So you can even have them flying around. So like I said, a lot of interesting things that you could do. Goofing around, playing around with them. You can have them look like they're in formation. You know, it's really just quite literally the sky's the limit on how you use this. But with that, I hope this kind of gives you an idea of what the Flatwood... 
Flatlands uh, shelter is. And with that, have a great week.